What's going on YouTube? Just got a real quick video for you. Just a quick checklist on some things to make sure to finish before season one starts. These will really expedite your leveling uh, when the new league starts, if you already have all this done. Um, it's just a few things. So this will this will be real quick. Obviously, uh, to begin, uh, the league is on, what is it, July 20th. So the, the new patch will be live July 18th. What you'll need to do is log in with a character that you have accomplished all these other things just for all of the stats to migrate. And then you will um, have everything on your new character. Um, everything that, that translates you'll have on your new character that you start day one of season one. So um, again, make sure you log, download the update and just log in on your character. If you're a hardcore character, make sure you do not die prior to the 18th. Otherwise, you will lose all that progress and you'll just have to do it all again. So I, I believe Blizzard has already announced that they will not be able to recover any lost hardcore characters. So be sure that if you're in hardcore, uh, don't don't take that death. Uh, next, um, the campaign. Make sure you finish up the campaign. So long as you finish it once ever, you don't ever have to do it again. So make sure you just go ahead and get that done. Wrap it up. You got two weeks. So, you know, that should be enough. If, if you've got, you know, if you can lay down, you know, four or five hours a week, uh, you should easily be able to accomplish that if you just kind of beeline uh, through the story. And then lastly, and probably most importantly, is the renown. Uh, if those of you, most of you probably know, some of you do not. But the only things that will translate are your areas discovered and your altars of Lilith. So you want to try to get, you definitely want to get your altars of Lilith done. Number one, it's just a huge power boost. It's a ton of stats and all that kind of stuff. Um, but so definitely finish the altars of Lilith, the areas discovered. Uh, slightly less important, but equally beneficial. You know, these two stats, if you have them completely um, maxed out when season one starts, you know, I would assume, I don't know the exact calculation, but I would assume you would probably have these first two boxes unlocked, you know, and then it's just a quick, uh, a quick level to get your one skill point in each region. Uh, there's a couple regions where I have to go get a, discover a couple more. So I'll do that over the next day or two um, just to make sure that that's all done. Uh, there, as far as the altars of Lilith go, there are a ton of resources out there, maps, all sorts of stuff. It's some interactive, some just images. Um, so you can go out there and find those. I'll go ahead and link some stuff, what I used in the description. So if you're looking for something, just, uh, bop down into the description. And as far as recommendations, I would recommend that you start uh, region by region. So do your best not to like do some here and then do some here. They're broken up by, by Skaz Glen, uh, Dry Steps, Kejikstan, uh, Hewazar, and then Fractured Peaks. So you can just find the map that's specific to your region and then just bop around and, and get, uh, get them all. Uh, that, that would be uh, your best bet for season one start. If you only have time to do one thing, I would do the campaign. If you have time to do two things, do the campaign and then the altars of Lilith and then finish up with the areas discovered. Uh, that'll just be easier once um, the season one starts. Is anything that's not discovered, kind of like this patch or whatever, you can just run over there. Here's another one here. You can just run over there and do it real quick. The altars of Lilith obviously are not as easy to find. So that's it, guys. Remember, new league starts uh, July 20th. The patch uh, goes live on the 18th, so be sure to log in just so that all of your uh, stats trans translate over, and then you'll never have to do that again. It's a little annoying, but I also understand this isn't something they had planned on doing uh, from the jump, so they just weren't prepared to implement it. Um, this was probably the easiest solution um, from the coders or the programmers or whoever. So that's it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, if you need help finding any resources, feel Feel free to leave a comment um, or send me a DM. I'm happy to help. And um, yeah, like and subscribe, do all that good stuff. Uh, I've been streaming uh, every day, you know, new builds, stuff like that. So if you guys have any interest in coming, hanging out, I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. We'll uh, we'll see you in the next one.